Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Ten years of expert filmmaking, spanning multiple genres and decades of comic book lore, culminate in this epic confrontation with Marvel's most powerful being. But is it better than Space Jam? It's all mine. Oh, didn't see you there. My name is Alistair Dillon. I hold PhDs in space and basketball fundamentals, as well as a minor in film history. I am a uniquely qualified individual who is able to discuss and debate and debut whether or not various movies are better than the modern classic Space Jam. Today, we will be discussing Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Is it better than Space Jam? Let's find out. Now let us talk about world building. In 2008, a small independent feature called Iron Man, starring SNL alumnus Robin Downey Jr., introduces us all to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ushering in a bevy of superheroic figures, and now 10 years, 18 movies, and 15 billion dollars later, we arrive at Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Compare that to Space Jam, which began its world building when the Warner siblings, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, created the Looney Tunes in the 1930s. Taking them to 1963, when his Ernest Michael Jordan began his 55 year reign of basketball dominance. Point Space Jam. Now let's talk about the hero's journey. Our first hero is a tall, powerful, charismatic, bald man on a relentless pursuit to acquire six pieces of jewelry, declaring him the most dominant part of his universe. I, of course, am talking about Michael Jordan and his six NBA Finals Championship rings. Much like his Annus, the hero of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, Thanos, is on a journey to acquire six pieces of jewelry, the infinite gems, so he may save the universe. Point Thanos. Special effects. Space Jam had such a special effect on my life. It came when I was coming up trying to become the first NBA point guard, professor, slash astronaut who's also friends with a cross-dressing rabbit, Whereas Marvel's Avengers Infinity War came out a mere short time ago. Point Space Jam. Magical Space Artifact. Both movies feature mystical space McMuffins that endow their wielders with otherworldly abilities. The Nerd Lux Basketball strips away the essence of various basketball stars. Sir Charles of Barkley, the Lilliputian Muggsy Bogues, Patrick Chewing, Grandmama, and the White One. Whereas the Marvel's Avengers Infinity Wars has the infinite gems, when encased in the Infamitten, grants its wielder control over space, Time, fundamentals, illusion, and time, as well as complete domination over the universe and those who live within it. And in theory, the Eastern Conference Finals. Point, Thanos. So in conclusion, if we're following conventional scoring methods, it clearly shows Thanos is the winner, but since Thanos isn't a movie, he is our universe's savior. The question still remains. Is Marvel's Avengers Infinity War a better movie than Space Jam? No, it is not. Good night and good luck.